Hello everyone, and welcome back for a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Tengu Summoner, even though it says Basher, of Gozag. And in the last episode, we ran away from there. It was too hard. Didn't want to go back. Uh, so we are instead going to just uh, go a little deeper in the dungeon. And perhaps to Orc? We should be much stronger by now. So that whatever we ran from Joseph, that's right, uh, shouldn't be as big of a deal. And we're just going to tab him down. Wand of Random Effects and a Zom Altar. Sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Identify Black Potion. Sure. Degeneration. Let's not drink them. Oh, oops. Dropped the wrong thing. Ring of Flight. No thanks. Not on a Tengu. We're not level 14 yet, of course, but we can always fly temporarily whenever we need to, and pretty soon we'll be able to fly permanently. In either case, we don't need a ring to let us do it. I guess fly has a 1% fail rate. But, uh, ooh. I guess I don't need a scroll enchant weapon since I have a plus 9 artifact ring at the moment, but I'll want one eventually. Protection from magic, good to have, I guess. I'd rather have protection on most of the time. That lightning spire is pretty effective. I'm a fan. And yeah, so I mean, it looks like all of Dungeon is basically not a problem anymore. And so this is just like a thing you can do. Uh, I'm not going to enchant any of this stuff right now. None of it. None of it is stuff I expect to keep for very long. Maybe the buckler I would keep for a while, but I'd also rather have uh, AC than shield. So I don't want a book of changes. I don't quite know what the right thing to do is with amulets anymore now that they've changed some of them. Uh, like, uh, well, there's one kind that, like, breaks itself when you take it off. Like, would I want to wear that? Is it bad if I put it on and discover its dismissal? And, like, ugh, I don't know, I have regen. Regen's pretty good. Let's just put it on and see. Stasis, fine. The amulet throbs as it attunes itself to your uninjured body. I see. So you have to be full health for uh, regeneration to start working. Nice. So that's how that works. Uh, for a while, they gave it like a warm up period, uh, kind of like Gourmand has, but I like this better. And I think that that, like. Ooh, gloves? No, I already have great gloves. So I, th I think that's a cool solution for. If the goal is to stop you from swapping, because because the problem with amulet of regen is that was anyway that um, sort of the best thing to do often was like not use it all the time and only use it when you needed to heal, and that's a a tedious uninteresting thing to make the player do, right? Swap the amulet on and off, like, all right, I'm done with the fight, put on my amulet of mutation, I keep saying mutation, regeneration, rest, I'm done resting, take it off, like, it's just busy work, right? And uh, so it's good that they got rid of that, and the specific way that they got rid of it seems fine to me, I don't know, I mean, uh... I don't know what else exactly was considered except for the warm-up period, and I do like this better. But, um, I mean, whoever actually did it thought a lot harder about it than I have. So even if they pick something that doesn't seem right to me, it probably would be right. <laughs> or at least reasonable. Uh, 
I'm picking up way too many of these junk ones. Don't need any more of that, that, these. It's like I have zero Evo skill. Most of these ones are pretty bad for me. And arguably, I should have some Evo, because like almost every character, this looks like Orc, can benefit from having a reasonable amount of evocations. Um, just like even like three or five or something is pretty good, pretty useful to get a lot of different kind, you know, to get more options, to get some use out of your hexing wands or whatever. We're at 13 on maces and flails, still want to keep an eye on that. I don't know, like, so you can get stuff in your RC file that will... Like, you can say, hey, train my shields to, or my maces and flails to exactly 14, or whatever. And then when it is 14, it'll turn it off and say, do you want to turn anything else on? And, you know, um... and on the one hand, that sounds kind of cool to me. Uh, oh my gosh, All right, I have a ring of curse, that's good. I just don't want to carry a ring of teleportation, really. I know that in theory they're cool. Uh, and like I might get a best and then I would want it back, but I'm just not going to deal with it. Um, and so on the one hand, like uh, something like that seems pretty cool, having an RC option that, because it is tedious to have to remember this crap. Mm, pass. And, you know, uh, crawl and, you know, just computers in general are about automating stuff that is no fun um, and just leaving you the interesting the interesting things, the reason you're here to play the game. Um, it wasn't orc though, interesting. So I think it would be totally fine to have that turned on, but I kind of like the appeal of having a mostly vanilla config. Like I've seen, you know, you can use hilarious death artists, gigantic he did up just a, a whole bunch of stuff in his config file. And you can use as much or as little of it as you want in theory. He split it up into pieces so you could use just some of it, which is really like, it's great. Um, you know, that's practically a, a public service, I suppose. Um, but I don't know, like I see people using it and they're, like, uh, not really, I don't know. I feel like it does a lot of advanced stuff that as a perhaps weaker player, you don't really appreciate or some things that like it does, it does a bad job or an okay job of something that if you as a human were paying attention, you could do a good job of. And so it like ends up making your play worse. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me being an old curmudgeon, but I kind of like having a mostly default RC file with some customizations that I have made myself because I value them um, compared to like doing something someone else decided was a good idea. Um, Josephine is actually... Yeah, Josephine is scary enough that I am definitely going to use a potion petition. Should have done that before I created some summons. I could get haste and resistance, or cheaper, I could get haste, resistance, and brilliance. I think I will take the cheaper one. Although haste and agility is actually arguably better. And it's cheaper. Because I don't really need the resistance, I don't think. Eh. It would be nice to have some negative energy resistance. These guys drain a little. And I think her fireball is... Uh, her ghostly fireball is negative energy. Uh, but agility is just like a big, big uh, defensive boost against stuff like this. It's not against fireball, though. I guess I'll take uh, resistance and brilliance. It'll be fine. Um, and we'll just drop like, I don't know. That's the problem, of course, is that I should be dropping my summons after I did all that stuff. So I'd get stronger summons and I would be spending fewer turns getting them. Let's just get an imp. 
And we got a white imp, whatever. White imps are pretty good. Oh, good. So now I have an excuse to resummon my uh, my canine familiar with brilliance on. The old one died. All right, all right. So we got her. We took three damage. You know, was uh, was potion petition really necessary? Eh, eh, maybe. I'll just identify these scrolls now. Magic mapping. That's cool. They all expired at the same time. I well, I guess it wasn't necessarily the same time. Like it might have just been that they expired like while I was auto exploring, so they all appeared to ex expire at the same time. I don't think they necessarily do expire at the same time because I'm pretty sure I've seen like it previously in this game. Yeah, I already have the spells I want from this book. I've seen like one of my potions wear off and then another one. And yeah, we're still... Oh, how is Blink doing? Blink is at nine. I feel like I'm getting experience really slowly. And as I say that out loud, I realize it's probably because I'm a summoner. And that just happens when you're a summoner. All right, there's Orc, good. Uh, let's just head to Orc, right? Yeah. Might not want to finish Orc in this video, uh, but we might, who knows. Wow, nice shooting at Lightning Spire. An Orc Sorcerer on Orc 1 is not actually that common. And an Orc Knight. This is kind of nasty. Huh. Where's the Sorcerer? He's up there. Hmm. It seems like, alright, this fight seems to be going okay. Sorry, I had to, uh, I quieted down there for a bit. I had to pay some attention to the tactical positioning and all that. And I know that, like, the point of these videos is telling you guys what I'm thinking about in those moments. Uh... I don't know, I guess uh, my brain just sort of forgot what was going on. Uh, because they're, like, I didn't really expect to see uh, that many high-level orcs on Orc 1. And I mean, you can you can see Warlords on Orc 1, it's not impossible. I just was not prepared for it. <sighs> Alright, whatever. I, I want to get out of here because I'm marked, but... There's just a lot of stuff in between me and the exit. And by the time I got to the exit, it's the mark was gone, so whatever. Let's train up a little spell casting too. Uh, summonings can take a break, I think, right? Yeah, I don't I don't need shadow creatures while I'm in orc. I get the worst shadows. Did we? Yeah, we found all the stairs here, it looks like, right? Was one of these an escape hatch? No, they're all real stairs, okay. Oh, a bunch of shops? That's cool. Goes egg. Likes shops. And a food shop, so I'm not... Ooh, whoa! No kidding, really? Those are all, like, great. Do I have that Pedal Panarinyarg? I do, I have two of them. Uh, but the these are so cheap. Like, give me all of this. Uh, let's drop Amnesia. Pick up this ring, identify it. That's awful. 
but it was well worth 18 gold or whatever it was. Wand of enslavement. Hmm. I don't really want stasis for anything. So I bought that scroll before identifying the ones I have, because if it turned out like that I discovered that was a scroll of acquirement, the price would shoot way up. And if I and if I discover, as seems likely, that it's not acquirement, then like, you know, whatever. I spent 20 gold on like something that's not worth anything. Who cares? Uh, Ringmail of Fire Resistance is a solid, solid option for the moment. Um... It conflicts with Azakubu's armor, but I can't really get that up anytime soon anyway. Uh, I think I'll just buy it. Like if I weren't a Gozeg guy, I would probably, um, yeah, my spells are still fine. Um, I, I would be more inclined to wait uh, before I buy stuff. Like I like to... When I'm in Orc, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping, and so I put stuff on my shopping list and only buy it once I've seen all the shops so that I don't spend, like, 500 gold buying something kind of okay and then, like, oh, no, I don't have the 2,000 gold I need for this really amazing thing. Um, but that's just not going to be a concern with Gozag, really. There's just going to be so much money I can buy whatever I want. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all junk. I mean, I don't know. An artifact mace could be okay, but we have like already a fantastic artifact flail, and there's no need to uh, speculate on that, really. I mean, on the other hand, like, what is the price of speculating, right? It's 200 gold. Ah, just, just forget it. I'm not getting that mace. All right, now we go to work three. And I need to remember that Orc 4 is always scarier than you think it's going to be if after you've just like held down tab through Orc 3. Uh, I feel like I almost died in Orc recently. I don't think I actually did, but it got a little, a little bit problematic. Maybe I actually did. Oh, nice shooting lightning spire once again. It's a good spell. It just does so much damage. And then we just pick up a ton of gold from all these crappy little orcs. Ooh, ow! That hurts a lot. A mited orc with a glaive, orc warrior rather, with a glaive. Okay, yeah, let's let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm being smited. Let's just drink a potion of curing. Because smite can do up to 17 damage. Ow. Alright, where is the priest? Because he's actually the only threat right now. He's there. So one tile away, and he won't be able to see me, so I can just run. And I'm faster than he is. So I don't have to worry about any two turns in a row shenanigans. Where are the stairs? Just down here. Okay. Okay. That was a little bit, a little bit not great, uh, honestly. Well, this is the small part of Orc 3, I guess. Okay, well, on the one hand, I'm not very keen to go back to Orc, the part of Orc 3 that I saw. Wait a minute. Uh, hmm. I don't know about this. I, uh, I made a change recently 
uh, to how the the cycling keys, like here I'm cycling between all the upstairs, how they behave, and it seems to have uh, seems to have had some changes I did not intend. Uh, but honestly, I like the changes. <laughs> um, like it, it also it cycles through stuff that you can't get to through auto travel, like stuff that's up here. And I really, I think that's fine. Because I'm, I'm remembering times when, like, oh gosh, I was in Tartarus and I was trying to find stairs down and I noticed that the the thing up on the top of the screen here um, showed a downstair. And I was like, what? I missed a downstair. Where is it? And I hit like X and I said, cycle through the downstairs. And it was like, I'm not going to do that because you can't, you can't auto, auto travel to it. And I'm like, I don't want to auto travel. I just want to know like where it is so I can walk there. Um, whereas like, you know, what's the downside? I, you know, it puts me up here and, and, uh, I can't just walk there. Who cares? I think that's fine. Now I know where all the upstairs on this level are. So as long as nobody complains, I'm not changing it back. <laughs> um, but anyway, we were headed back down into orc three to give this orc knight what for. Wow, why am I miscasting everything? I mean, I know it's because I have plus three ring mail, right? But I was miscasting even more than I could reasonably expect. Okay, so once we had some time to rest and we pulled that pack into a few smaller pieces, it was no big deal, really. Something I want to keep a note of, by the way, is how many food shops I find this game. Um, because some people were saying, it's impossible to play Gozag, you can't ever, you gotta spend all the extra money you get on funding food shops and buying food, and it's so dreadful. And uh, I was like, you know, I, the last Gozag game I played, I didn't fund any food shops, and I left the game with like dozens of rations, it's really not that hard. <laughs> and they were like, you must have found an awful lot of food, it's way more than you could normally expect to find. So, well, I don't know, maybe. But once the game is over, you can't really look to see how many food shops there were. Um, so I'd like to remember, actually, here's an idea. Let's leave a note. How many food shops were there? There. Now if I ever go back to Dungeon 1, it'll remind me to check how many food shops there were. Um, it's not that important, but now now I, you know, I'll remember in case it comes up. And it's not like I, I'm not going to go back to that thread and tell them, hey, I did another game and it's still as easy. You guys suck. Um, but I would like to know, like, did I just get outrageously lucky that game? Like, I wasn't even playing a spellcaster. Uh, so, of course, like, being melee only makes it even easier. But I sort of expect that, you know, on this summoner start... You know, how many food shops am I going to have to fund? Not more than two, I would think. Uh, quite possibly zero, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to put any money on that. And, like, how much does it cost to fund a merchant? Like, I don't know, a thousand, maybe? Probably less? It's just not a big problem, has been my experience. Actually, I should be calling some merchants now, honestly. I wonder if they changed it to um, where where it goes. At your location. Nice, they did change it. Uh, it used to be that it would appear in like a branch on a floor that you hadn't explored yet, unless you had explored all the places where shops could be placed, and then it would go right where you're standing. And so it was like, oh, I really need some food. I'm starving to death. And it would be like, hey, set up shop in the vaults. Go get a rune. <laughs> Uh, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, what was that? Glowing leather? All right. So it's nice that that's fixed. Uh, making you explore for it was just not really that interesting. And it had problems. Where is the... Okay, so this this quadrant down here is where the end vault must be. 
Okay, it's the centaur one? Yeah. It's a lot of centaurs. Well, let's get some summons in to make it a fair fight. Okay, so we just, and uh, I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of orcs with uh, arbalests and so on as well. Uh, orc warriors and orc knights. Yeah, we just need to not, not be out in the open fighting all that. That really is the thing. And one Orc Knight is not a big deal. Not by himself. And I left... There's not much food on the ground. Okay, so it's all just in a shop. Why does that one piece of food say it's in a shop, but the food shop... There's some sort of logic that I remember now that, like, when you search for a shop, if the shop shows up, then none of... When you search for something, if a shop shows up, then the stuff in the shop doesn't show up, and otherwise the stuff in the shop does show up. I, I don't know exactly. But I think that's what, what the deal is. We still need to add a, a message. Like, on the one hand, like, it would be nice if a message were printed when you summoned a canine familiar and it appeared, because, like, most of the stuff that you summon, you do get a message about. And I'm like, wait, did I fail to cast the spell? Did something go wrong? Did I hit the wrong button? Uh, so from that perspective, I'm like, yeah, of course, we should add that message, right? Uh... But another point of view is that, like, summoners get so much message spam already. Do you really want to add more? Uh, I argue yes, because it's consistent. But, you know, if you talk to people who play a lot of summoners, they're like, please, please don't make it print anything. <laughs> um, so, you know, me as this casual summoner scrub, maybe I shouldn't go adding it. Let's turn off auto pickup while we're in here. Um, but uh, since since becoming an official Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup developer, uh, I haven't done a lot of I haven't made a lot of changes really. Um, I wasn't making a lot before then, and I'm not doing a ton now either. Uh, but it is nice that the stuff. If there's something that I want to get in that isn't controversial, I can just put it in myself. Like I made a change to the wording of some a message that Kybriados gives you. And it was like, it was just nice not to have to wait for anyone to say, yes, this is great, we should do it. Um, and, you know, stuff like, uh, you know, so I don't know, I'm just, it's cool, that, that's the end of the story. Um, what shops are these? Uh, these all seem pretty good. None of them are food shops, so that's great. Mm, probably want to at least check this out. Uh, okay, yep, yep. 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 Yep, that all looks good. Armor shop. Yeah, I don't really want any of that. Weapons? Mmm. Great sort of electrocution is pretty good, but I'm, um, you know, I'm a little experience starved already, and I have a lot in maces, so I don't see myself switching in a big hurry. Okay, and now there's guys shooting at us, so I'm going to back up a little bit now that I've, I'm done window shopping. Try to get a better engagement. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that lightning fire just kills everything. It is the best. I, I don't know if I told you guys. It was like months ago I was watching somebody play... Can't have been that many months ago, but I guess it was months ago. Watching someone play his Crawl Sudden Death Challenge game on like the, a French server, I think it was. Somewhere in Europe, anyway. And instead of dollar signs, it had pound signs. It was amazing. I loved it. I don't. I mean, I don't know if every like European server has that. I don't think so. But I just thought it was, it was a cute little customization that they had done. Uh, yeah, so let's just go buy all this stuff. Yep, yep, I'm Gozag, give me everything. Yep, yep, uh, let's try this on. Uh, well, I can't, I mean, as expected, I can't really wear it now. Um, and it's not that amazing either. But right now it's the only source of poison resistance in the game, so it's worth considering. Uh, like when we go to... Oh, boo. Oh my god, I don't have any remove curse. What an idiot. <laughs> How can that happen? There's like remove curse everywhere in every game. Come on, remove curse. Oh my god. What? Wait, it's named Alan. I don't think this game knows that that's my name. That's spooky. Huh. Well, look at that. Uh, well, that might honestly... I mean, it could be what kills me. <laughs> I think I can just tab stuff, but I've been relying a fair bit on casting spells, you know, as a summoner. You tend to do that. And right now, I can't really... Uh, let me let me turn off translocations when it gets to seven, I guess. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's kind of a foolish end to this episode. I'm just so used to having a ton of remove curse by now. I didn't even think about it. Uh, but we we finished orcs. So that was fine. Next episode, do the rest of dungeon maybe, and then go down to layer eight. I don't know, something like that. We'll see. Uh, hopefully this armor won't kill us. Uh, so until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.